Hey guys, just gonna give an update video here. Chilling on a Sunday afternoon. Um, body weight is down to 96 kilos, which is 211 pounds. So since last summer, July actually, so last July I was up to 262 at my highest, um, which is about 117, 18 kilos, 118 kilos. And now I'm down to 96 kilos, 211 pounds. So almost done with this diet. I've got my body weight in a good range. Um, still got a couple more pounds to lose, but within a week I should be done dieting. Thank goodness. And then I can go into a maintenance phase. So I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to scaling the cardio back a little bit and all that sort of thing. Uh, I'm feeling really healthy though. So I'm very excited to see the April 15th labs. Um, I'm hoping for even bigger improvements as far as my lipid panel, you know, cholesterol, um, kidney functions, and maybe see if I can get my liver enzymes, both of them below 20. But we shall see. So right now, I am a certain number of weeks out from a mystery meet, which I'm not going to disclose. I think I think I know what meet I'm leaning towards, but there will be a meet. Can't say how far away it is. Can't say the, the length of time or where it is or anything like that. It's just going to, I'm going to keep training for it. And when the time comes, the time comes. Um, it's not like really, really soon. It's not, it's not that close, but it's, it's, it's in the foreseeable future. Let's put it that way. So everything's kind of ticking along here. I've lost a ton of body fat, but I've also lost a ton of muscle. So that, that's one thing you have to think about. Um, but I'm pretty lean right now, and I've lost a lot of muscle in my legs because I'm not really um, doing a lot of direct leg work. I mean, the, really the only direct leg work I'm getting are from the 45-degree back extensions and deadlifts. I do both of those about three days a week. That's really it because I have no interest in squatting anymore. Um, I, I saw actually... Uh, the big boy from the strength cartel had a video. He's like, "Why well, I stopped squatting. And his his reasons were because he couldn't get his arms back. And it would kill his bench and kill his shoulders. And it was so painful. My reason is mainly because of my hip. So my hip is... I've had so many people try to fix this thing. This thing is just jacked up to the max. And it just makes my life terrible. Because it make, gives me back pain. Because I overcompensate on the left side then. Favor the left side. Um, the hip gets painful, the knees get painful. So, you know, I, like I said, I squatted 350 kilos in sleeves, almost got 355, tore my quad on that one. So I'm I'm good with how I've done on squats. I'm just ready to do push-pull, which is what the plan will be at this mystery meet. Just push-pull. And I want to do a few meets off everything, off the supplements. There's a meet, actually. I saw a meet in Greenville, uh, South Carolina in like August or July or something like that. And that one was tempting, but I, I don't want to do this one. I've never been to Greenville. I just really want to see what Greenville's like. Um, I've been to other parts of South Carolina, but not Greenville. And I want to see Greenville, but the meat's drug tested. And even though I'm not on supplements and I would pass the drug test, I don't feel right about having taken supplements in the past and then doing a drug test in meat. So I know some of the guys were thinking, like, maybe you're going to go USAPL and stuff like that. I really don't feel good about doing that because I've been on stuff before even if I'm clean now so I think that one's crossed off the list but that was one of the ones that was piqued my interest because I've just never been to Greenville so it's unfortunate that it's a drug test in me but what can you do um but yeah everything's coming along so I put up a single for deadlifts on Instagram that some people perceived as my max which was somewhat hilarious but um so I did the 305 672 Bella's deadlift at my wife's meet in the warm-up area after the meet and so I that's that's more like my max right there at the time hopefully it'll keep going up but for my singles this week I do a single each week on uh on squatting or no Let's see I'm already screwing it up on bench and deadlift so I have all my other volume training in my accessories all that sort of stuff but I do one single a week on deadlift, one single a week on bench to uh, to basically improve my neural efficiency as far as handling higher weights as the meat gets closer. Um, so the singles this week were 551, 250 kilos on deadlift, 
and then uh, 314, 142 and a half kilos on bench. So the deadlift was a piece of cake, obviously. I mean, this week I did four by four at like 526 on deadlift. So obviously a single at 551 isn't going to be too bad. But that was my top single for the week. That's all that I was supposed to do. This is I'm doing my own programming, obviously. Um, this was hook grip. So one thing I want to kind of talk about, I'm going to compete with hook grip. I'm going to do all my singles, all my heavy singles hook grip. But I do all my rep work mixed grip. So I just find this works really well because my grip's gotten a lot stronger. I do all the rep work, all my main training work mixed grip. I do the one single a week hook grip. Um, I've adjusted my hook grip form a little bit. It feels so much better. Um, hook grip's never felt this good, but that's what I'm gonna compete with hook grip. It's just vastly superior as far as the, the biomechanics of it. Um, the, the bench single you're gonna see, it was tougher, but I'm really trying to get some very long pauses here. So one thing I'm prioritizing is super long pauses and clean form. Um, this was the 314 you're going to see. I think I, I have about 326 in me right now, 147 and a half kilos. But that's a weight that's a couple weeks down the line, so not there yet. Um, this week I'm supposed to take 562 on deadlift, uh, 255 kilos on Tuesday, and then 320 on bench, um, 145 kilos on Friday, I believe. So that's the plan. I'm not going to... Uh, disclose all my training but i just i'm doing these singles and i'll post them up because they're kind of fun to see see the progression so that's really um all that's going on right now big cheat day tomorrow i'm gonna have a public sub if any any of you guys have ever ever had a public sub you know how good they are i get the chicken tender sub on italian five grain bread i put mayonnaise on both sides of the the bread i put colby jack cheese on and then i'm gonna put some parmesan ranch from olive garden on top Gonna do that. Gonna do the last uh, flavor of pretzel sticks I haven't tried, the jalapeno ranch. I don't like hot things, spicy things, so I may not like these, but the sour cream and onion were the freaking bomb. The seasoned were okay. We'll see how these compare. So I'll have tried all the flavors of pretzel sticks because I freaking love them. And then I'm also gonna have some cinnamon rolls, maybe some other stuff. So I make it a full blown cheat day because I diet my butt off and do cardio five, five, six days a week for upwards of. Uh, if we include my walk that I do every night with my dog, I do almost two hours of cardio a day. Um, so I really I get into these cheat meals on Mondays, and I really enjoy myself. I've been doing the Papa John's pizzas, uh, Philly cheesesteak lately, but I just want to change it up. Because I, I literally got a medium Philly cheesesteak Papa John's pizza last week for my cheat meal, and I ate this thing in 10 minutes, maybe 15, 15 tops, 10 to 15 minutes. I was walking my dog that night and I felt like I was going to throw up. Like I barely made it home because I, I was the whole walk. I'm, it, the food was kicking in and digesting and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be sick. So I, I go pretty hard with these cheat days, but uh, the diet is very strict the rest of the week. I'm doing all the cardio the rest of the week. My weight's still coming down uh, 211 pounds. You know, we're almost there. We're almost to the goal. So things are going really well. We'll get the blood work. I've got eight clients, eight clients, guys, competing in on April 24th at the USPA uh, Tennessee State Championships in Nashville. So I'll get all their, their footage up. Uh, Nick Stein competed this weekend. First meet ever. 265 pounds he weighed in at. Um, he should have had a fourth attempt on deadlift. That's what we planned for. Actually, when we picked his attempts, there was some miscommunication at the meet. So they didn't give him a fourth, which they should have because it was a state record. But he pulled 733 like nothing. And we we're going to have him go 760 on his fourth, which he would have gotten. So I'm, I'm a little upset about that. But he went 8 for 9, his first meet. Uh, really good. I'll post his meet results up. And if you're interested in coaching, shoot me an email, prstrength1 at gmail.com. I'll put that in the description. I've been doing this for 8 years now, full time. So I, I do a really, I try to do a really a good job with you guys. And I think uh, everybody can attest to that. I think that's most everything. I appreciate you guys watching the update video. Um, just did a podcast with Leo and Vigorous Steve. Uh, so go check out Leo's channel. There's a lot of those clips up from the podcast. It was a fun one. And just going to keep getting healthier. Going to keep getting stronger. Keep prepping for this mystery meet. And I'll uh, I'll keep letting you guys know how things are going. Thanks for watching. Also, some of the comments. So what was happening on some of the last YouTube videos, I would comment, reply to people, and the comments would like get deleted or something somehow. I don't know what the heck's going on. 
So I, I've been so busy too that I haven't been able to get to as many comments. I apologize for that. I'll try to make up for it by doing more Q and A's. And I do know that we still need to do the the Q and A with the wifey, the couple's Q and A. I never got around to that. We did the freaking delicious foods instead when we were at at her meet. So I'll try to get that one in. But yeah, thanks guys.